old pro like Dennis Allen comes into play. If you get them down, you better stay on them. Are they going to? They'll move. Because hey, his recuperation power is is good, and you just saw it. He wouldn't have been here at WrestleSlam if he was not one of the top competitors in the world. Whoa, face first to the mat. Max Eliminator said enough of that, my friend. Oh, and a clothesline puts him down. Elbow smash, rolls him up. Near fall, count of two. You know, I like that, Max. He's technically sound. He's great finding that leg. He was going for the pin. I love this, man. Suplexes him over. Two count, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to have been in this in the training center out of Thunderdome, where Max the Eliminator was produced from. Could you imagine what a bad place that was in Thunderdome? Oh man, he had to go through some gruesome, awesome, awesome beatings. But I tell you what, it looks like he won the game because he sure looks pretty good today, doesn't he? A fight to the death in Thunderdome. That's the only way to escape. And he is here in the International Wrestling Federation. Fires Allen across. Big elbow smash to the midsection. A forearm, if you will. And Allen is in a world of hurt. Probably got all the wind knocked out of him. Russell Slam, battle for the belts, baby. Sports Channel, it don't get no better than this, KK. I want to say hello to my good friend, a lovely lady by the name of Donna Catrone in New York. And Mark Callahan himself, baby. Whoa, nice counter. Inverted neck breaker. Beautiful move from Dennis Allen. Oh! Good counter from Max the Eliminator. These two are gonna brawl now. Boy, old Max don't play that, does he? Oh no. Karate thrust into the throat. Allen fires back with a karate boot. Now charges in. Oh, catches a boot right in the middle of the chest. A back and forth match since the opening bell. A real treat for the fans. Kevin Kelly along with the Continental Lover. This is WrestleSlam. Battle for the belts. And Max is making his national debut. Coast to coast, baby. Nice counter once again from Allen. Crucifix unable to hold him down. I tell you, he's got that leg hooked. He's got the arm hooked. He's got the head hooked. But he can't rock, he can't roll him over and he can't hold him. Because Max is just a little bit too strong for Dennis Allen. Max the Eliminator had the leverage advantage. Able to counter. Allen fighting back. Boy, he is a double tough youngster than this Dennis Allen. Well, that's what I told you. Man, I don't tell you lies, KK. When I tell you a guy can wrestle, he can wrestle. And Dennis Allen is a good wrestler. Ooh, boy, is he technically sound. He certainly is. And he has thrown just about the entire kitchen sink at Max the Eliminator, and he's still standing tall in the center of the ring. See, that's where the old pro comes in. He's saying, okay, Max is cranking it up a notch. Now I'm gonna gear him down. He's gonna gear him down, that's what he's doing. He's getting the cobwebs out of his head. Now he's putting the plan together. Now here he comes. He's going to play with him. See, he's playing the mind game. You are a master of the mental chess inside the squared circle, CL. Exactly now, what's Dennis Allen going to try to do? Well, what he's going to do is he's got to ground Max. you got to take a big guy like that off his feet. But see, the problem with Dennis, he didn't take it to Max. Max took it to him. Now, there you go. Finally, he should have did that as soon as he walked in the ring. I mean, when you get oh, reverse neck breaker, oh. mercy, Daddy, that ought to finish Max off. He has worked on the neck, the upper back region. My God, it's a strength on this guy. Look at him able to come back from that reverse neck breaker. Two count, almost a three. Yeah, Max needs to learn how to tighten up on his covers, man. I'm telling you, he needs to grape find that leg, cinch it in, crank it in, man. Make that guy squeal like a pig, man. Woo! Well, okay, that, that reminds you of something, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Well, this is Nationwide TV. We are in 100, 200 million homes. We're everywhere, all over the world. And this one, this is prime time. Max the Eliminator and Dennis Allen have gone tooth and nail since the opening bell. Elbow smash right to the face of the skull. 
I'll tell you, it's been a war, KK. It's back and forth. This is what professional wrestling's all about. It's a contest, man. Man against man. Irish whip follows him in. Oh, and he catches the boot. Waiting just a step too long once again. Look at this Dennis Allen, man. He's impressing me today, KK. That's why he's here at WrestleSlam. He is high and up. Cross body. Oh, and put back down. Whoa, he almost got him into a power slam, but he countered that cross body. That's what you're supposed to do. It's a professional wrestling. Now you see the power slam. Two and three. This one's over. Play and hoop it up, the NBA's official 3 of 3 basketball tournament presented by Sports Channel Newsday and New York Newsday. So play the golf course. The future of sports television is about to dramatically change. A revolution is going to take place, and a new voice will be heard. That new voice is New Sport, an alternative 24-hour sports news and information service. New Sport delivers more than just scores and highlights. New Sport takes you to the game. It goes behind the scenes and gives you the chance to speak out. New Sport, your alternative source, is coming this fall to cable TV. It's hard to be a ball of sunshine early in the morning. Heck, the only one who's cheerful when I get up is the person giving the wake-up call. It takes one hot shower to get me going. And a hot breakfast helps. So do rates I can swap. And folks who do their jobs with a smile, so I'm wearing one when I get to mine. Stay at any of the 1,300 worldwide days ends on business. You'll find the best value under the sun. And I'm leaving here a better man. Clint Black. Mama, he's crazy. The Judds. Time Life Music, today's hot new superstars and the legends you love, all together in one great collection. Start with the biggest hits of the late 80s, together for the first time in this special TV offer. 22 songs you really love for just $9.99. After you've purchased the late 80s, you'll be able to preview other great country hits albums. Keep only the ones you want, so call now to get the biggest hits of the late 80s for only $9.99. Here's how to order. To order country hits of the late 80s, use your credit card and call. 800-648-1700 or send $9.99 for one cassette or one compact disc plus $3 shipping and handling to Country Hits, Department 110, Box 1322, Buffalo, New York. Folks my age always get special rates at Days Ed. And by joining the September Days Club, they save even more on room. But don't expect to find these folks in their rooms. You'll find the Rosses with a beautiful pool and the Greenbergs enjoying the restaurant with friends and the cooks and Rizzo's walking barefoot on the beach. And would you believe they just met today? At over 1,300 days in worldwide, you'll find the best value under the sun. This is Dino Puglia here at Universal Studios Florida. We're here on 57th Street along with Mae West and the IWF World Tag Team Champions, Chevy MC and Odessa Slim. We're having a great time here, guys. No, so, you know, I just don't understand it, baby. Why are we here on 57th Street, Chevy? Delsa, Miss May, let me talk to you for a second. I like the way that different people of different colors and different culture can get together and fight for a cause. You see what I'm saying? We can fight for a cause, and when you get that cause, you win that cause. And that's why we are the world tag team champions today. We had a cause in mind. Me and Death of Slim, we went for it. And now we're on Fifth Avenue, and Miss May, we're going to take you on a shopping spree. Oh, I love it, but don't you think you boys have been generous enough? I mean, you uh, bought me this diamond ring just Good morning, fellas. Oh, Miss May, we keep winning the matches, and that's not all we're going to buy you. Oh, oh we, got a, we got a lot on 3rd Avenue we got for you right now yesterday. Yes, sir? You see what I'm saying, Chevy? We come hard, we come together. The colors unite, it doesn't matter. As long as we have the people behind us, that's all we need. And pretty Miss May, I love her. Oh, well, Ms. I May. like you boys, too. And let's say, Chubby, your glasses are fogging up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, All right, gentlemen, 
gentlemen, how about the competition here in the IWF? Nasty Ronnie and the Diabolical Nasty Organization. Come on, these guys are on the As long as the people behind us cheering for the team of Tubby and Odessa, no one, no one, including you, Nasty Ronnie, is going to take something that the people in us That's have right, fought the people so long. That's right. That's, That's right. what I have to say about that. Tino, my man. All right, all right, fans, Stand we're having a wonderful woman. time here. Oh, okay. May West along with the tag team champs, Chubby yes, MC and Odessa Slim. Say first, weighing in at 230 pounds, from Tampa, Florida, Lightning Lou Perez. Dino Puglia tells you who's coming down the ringside. There you see him. Well, folks, you're looking at a true superstar in Lightning Lou, baby. I tell you why, Lou Perez, one day he's going to have the goal in the IWF. Lou Perez is one of the greatest wrestlers in, in professional wrestling today. And he's right here at the IWF at our home at Universal Studios, Florida, baby. Woo! Mercy! It's fixing to get down. Boogie time! And the man that he is going to take on is, oh, is, you know who that is. Weighing in at 235 pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Beth Anderson. Yes, indeed, fans. It's going to be Cliff Anderson and Lou Perez. That's a main event in any arena around the world. And ladies and gentlemen, you're sitting right at home. Prime time, baby. Watching Cliff Anderson and Lou Perez strap themselves in, baby. This is a main event anywhere in the world. ZL, volumes of books have been written about the history between these two men. Wars going all over the globe. And this could be the night, this could be the match where this war finally comes to an end. That's it. Cliff Anderson has sworn He's going to take Lou Perez out. Perez says, no way. I'm going on to a whole lot bigger and better things when I get done with you tonight, Cliff Anderson. Well, that sounds good, you know. I tell you what, you know, you never underestimate even two of these guys. These are true professionals, man. These are true stars. They are superstars in the world of professional wrestling. I tell you what, the Anderson family speaks for itself, you know. And so does Lou Perez. He has a brother by the name of Al Perez. And, and they, they're both superstars. And Lightning Lou's bad to the bone, just like my good buddy George Thurgood. Oh, yes, indeed. Great family bloodlines have produced two tremendous products here in the form of Cliff Anderson and Lou Perez, as Perez quickly taken over with a beautiful arm drag from Cliff Anderson. This is WrestleSlam. This is the battle for the belts. And you are looking at two tremendous athletes in the shape of Cliff Anderson and Lightning Lou Perez. Man, we got, we got some titles coming up after this match. It's going to be unbelievable. Action, action, action. Woo, Mercer. Big high body slam, and Anderson goes down. Oh, Anderson quickly scoots out of Dodge. Man, he got out of Dodge quicker than Marshall Dillon ever could. <laughs> Thought better of it, and he bailed out. I'll tell you what, boy. I'd call that the Feld Express bell out. <laughs> hey, FedEx, you better send me a check for that one, pal. Make that check to Kevin Kelly. <laughs> i tell you what, Lightning Lou and Cliff Anderson, are, they're, it's getting down. It's stuffing and bumping on soundstage 23 here. And I'm telling you, Wrestle Slam Battle for the Belts, this is what it's all about, KK. This is an extravaganza. And when you mix two superstars like Cliff Anderson and Lou Perez, you're going to see wrestling like it ought to be, baby. Oh, and we still have so much more action after this great bout. Big shoulder block. Anderson down in the middle. Over across. Nice reversal on the hip toss. Anderson taking over into an arm drag. You see how clean and crisp Lou Perez is with all of his moves, finishing off with a beautiful arm drag. Well, that's true, KK. And, I, you know, and I am so, you know, I was so technically sound myself as a professional wrestler. You know, I, I, I learned from a third-generation wrestler and, and, you know, by the name of Terry Funk. But I, but I also have been associated with my protege, Roy Lee Welch, better known as the true king 
of professional wrestling. And you know what I'm gonna do? I got a guest surprise for you, KK. I flew King Roy Welch down just for Wrestle Slam hey. Battle for the Belts. All He's right. a third generation wrestler, and we're gonna bring him out during the IWF World Tag Team Championship. What an honor that is going to be to meet true royalty in the form of Roy Lee Welch. A Welch name, of course, synonymous with professional wrestling. Three and four generations old. Now you see Lou Perez. Big high vertical suplex. Very nice. Floats over. Could have him. Counted two. No. Oh, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing at home. Oh. Oh. Desperation First. move from Anderson. Well, that's an Anderson move. It's desperation. When the going gets tough, they want to bail out or they want to go pick up something and hit somebody with it or hit you below the belt. And that's what's happening. You know, it's desperation on the part of Cliff. And, and you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And that's what Cliff Anderson does. He does whatever Cliff Anderson has to do. These two men, as I said, fans, have had battles all over the world. No advance scouting compared to what these two men have gone against. It has taken many, many wars to get to this point right here. And as I said going in, this could be the night where Cliff Anderson finally does what he says he was going to do, which is put Lou Perez out of professional wrestling. Well, I tell you what, he's been promising that for months on end, and it, it, it could happen. Big flying clothesline from Anderson. But if I'm a betting man, I certainly wouldn't bet on it, KK. Lou Perez is a double tough individual, and I wouldn't take anything in the world, anything in the world away from Cliff Anderson. But Lou Perez is a true superstar in this business. Doesn't hook the leg, and Perez kicks out with good intensity and good vigor. And now you see him. Step over on the arm, has it barred. This is a very painful hold, fans. This is a submission maneuver. This could be it for Lou Perez. I tell you what, what makes this so great, man? They're so evenly matched, and they're both so technically sound. I mean, they're mixing it in. They're grabbing, and they're hooking, they're switching, they're reversing. Look at Lou Perez. He's positioning himself. He's positioning himself for, for a reason. Everything has a reason, KK, in life. And it has it in that ring. Every move that you make has a reason. And you see the people, you hear them behind us. Starting to get going for Lou Perez. Anderson fires across. Lou ducks the clothesline. Oh, big knee to the midsection. Well, I tell you, Cliff Anderson needs to finish him off, man. He's got him down. You know, Lou's hurt. He's doubled over, man. He could have got the wind knocked out of him on that one. Drives ahead into the shoulder blade, into the shoulder area. Really working over the left arm and upper shoulder region of Lou Perez. And now Anderson going to the floor where the Andersons are so famous. Drives the elbow right into the throat, CL. Hey, it's vicious. That's, it's, you know, KK, and the people at home, you have to be vicious. This is a vicious business. You know, whether you, you, you like it or you don't like it, sometimes you got to get mean and nasty. And you just have to do what you got to do, KK. The name of the game is winning. You know, it's not trying to cripple or lame somebody, but it's, it's, it's winning. It's coming home with that winner's share of the purse each and every night. It's called wearing the gold, baby. Whoa, big right hand. Perez starting to get that Latin fire going. Tell you what, he get that light temper going, he's gonna crank him up a notch. Two count, Anderson able to kick out. Another shoulder into the midsection. See how he's staying on that midsection. That's why Cliff Anderson's a technically sound wrestler. He goes right back to where he hurt him the first time. Boom, right again. Lou was almost there, he almost had his second win, and bam, that Cliff Anderson knocked his second win right out of him. Certainly but I tell you what, Lou Perez is not a quitter. And Lou Perez will stay in there and he'll fight till he drops, man. Perez, notice how barrel chested his build is. Big barrel chest meaning big lungs, great wind capacity. Anderson trying to sap that away from him. He's trying to knock that win out of him, KK. Because if you win the guy, if you knock the breath out of him, you can get it. And that was always one of your strengths, the ability to have such a capacity, such long reserve, CL. Well, what I did is, is I had, I just had the inside of me. That was God's gift to me to be a fighter, to, to just to reach down when I had to. If I had 59 minutes to go, I had one more minute to go 60. Hey, whatever it took to get there, I would do it. And Perez throwing the big drop kick. 
has Anderson down. We'll see if Cliff is able to regain control or if Perez can maybe finish him off. Oh! Great move from Anderson. Nobody home for the drop kick. Boy, that's a that's a bad, bad mistake on Lou Perez's part. And that's that's and, but that shows you how smart that Cliff Anderson really is. I mean, this is a main event in any arena in the world, man. Lou Perez, Cliff Anderson, they going tooth and nail. And I hope all you great fans watching Prime Time all over the country are enjoying this one. We've got a whole lot more action yet to come. Anderson tossing Perez out to the floor. As I said, the Anderson family so dangerous. Cliff with an extra bit of a mean streak. I've never seen in any other Anderson competitor. He's got the mallet for that bell. Come on, referee. Oh! Right down into the forehead of Lou Perez. Now across the back and shoulders. Rick Garcia's got to try to get some control out here. I tell you, the matter, Cliff Anderson does anything it takes to win, and I told you that. And now you see it. He went and got the ring bell. Boom! With the mallet and hit Lou Perez in the head. He will use whatever it takes. Now you see him. He's pile driven many an opponent. Nearly put men out before. He's gonna put Perez out right here if he lands this one. No! Oh, great counter. Boy, what a reverse to that was. Because he would have finished him off. He'd have dropped his head on that on the on the floor because that's that cement floor. Man, when you're not gonna hit that, it's checkout time, baby. Woohoo, mercy. They're fighting tooth and nail, KK. This has gone to the streets now. It's gone to the floor. Both men are brawling. The rule book has been tossed aside as Anderson and Perez are scrapping it out here. Down right below referee Rick Garcia as he, as he is laying the count on him. And now you see Anderson. Oh, face first to the table. That's it, baby. I tell you, Luke Perez don't take it. You know, he don't need to take it. He got that Latin blood pumping now. And Cliff Anderson better watch it. Cliff Anderson made a cardinal mistake when he made him mad. He did not finish him when he should have. Perez and Anderson now have battled on the floor for several minutes, continually breaking the count. Garcia's laying the count on him. Anderson, oh, going after that bad wheel. Anderson had some trouble with his right knee in the past, but Perez going after it. Oh, and Cliff is hung up in a world of hurt. I, I tell you, KK, I love it. They're going at it tooth and nail. It's just what it's all about. Russell Slam. You ought to be able to get down and boogie. It doesn't matter what it takes. You got to win. And now you see them both battling up on the apron. Dumped in. And it looks like he was thrown in just at the count of ten. right there. He backdrop Lou Perez right into the ring on a nine count. Before the bouts you just saw, fans, we talked about Lou Perez and Cliff Anderson, the history, the war, if you will. Nothing is settled as of yet, my friend. You know, Kevin Kelly, Lou Perez has been gone from the IWF for about a year now. When I called up and they said, Lou Perez, come on back down to Universal Studios. Come back to the IWF. I said, why, sure. They said, but there's one obstacle in the way, Lou, and that's Cliff Anderson. Well, me and Cliff Anderson go way back. Back before the IWF, during the IWF. And Cliff Anderson, let me explain something to you, brother. I've been all over God's green earth. It's going to take a hell of a lot better man than you to beat me. Now, on another subject, we might as well cover it all. The nasty organization. I understand they're still here. Well, Ronnie, let me explain something to you, pal. Whether it's Cliff Anderson, whether it's any one of your hoods, brother, Lou Perez is here to stay. You better believe that. It's hard to be a ball of sunshine early in the morning. Heck, the only one who's cheerful when I get up is the person giving the wake-up call. It takes one hot shower to get me going, and a hot breakfast helps. 
So do rates I can swallow. And folks who do their jobs with a smile, so I'm wearing one when I get to mine. Stay at any of the 1,300 worldwide base ends on business. You'll find the best value under the sun. The BBC, Turner Broadcasting and Timeline Video dare you to take a walk on the wild side with Trials of Life. The gripping, award-winning nature video series that exposes the struggle to survive through uncensored, shocking photography. Join acclaimed naturalist David Attenborough for a close encounter with raw nature. See the thrill of the hunt and the strategy of the kill, the relentless drive to continue the bloodline and the miracle of birth. Call now and receive hunting and escaping for $9.99 and see why the law of the jungle is kill or be killed. If it captures your interest, you can get other videos about every other month. Each tape explores the harsh realities of survival in the animal world. Take a walk on the wild side with trials of life. Call now to order hunting and escaping and find out why we call them animals. To order your trials of life, call 1-800-237-0330 or send 999 plus 323 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. It's a law of nature. You bring a kid to a day's end, the first thing they do is find the pool. My kids were the same way. Vacations were a big treat. The folks at Days Inn understand. That's why kids 12 and under stay scot-free, so parents can enjoy a comfortable stay with the family without getting soaked when they check out. At over 1,300 Days Inn worldwide, you'll find the best value under the sun. Seven no-hitters, 300 wins, over 5,000 strikeouts, and one of the most feared pitchers in baseball history. Now we're honoring Nolan Ryan's farewell season in the Legends Gold Stamp Series. These official 23-karat gold stamps can be yours in this special TV offer. These stamps are handsomely displayed in a special collector's presentation wallet and come with a free first-day cover with a paper stamp canceled on the first day of issue, along with its own numbered certificate of authenticity. You get the Nolan Ryan Gold Stamp, the Presentation Wallet, and the free Baseball Collector's Card for only $39.95. Any baseball fan will want to remember the legend of Nolan Ryan. Here's how to order. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-428-0770 to receive your set of Nolan Ryan stamps. Or send $39.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to P.O. Box 2345A, Grand Central Station, New York, New York. Or call toll-free now, 1-800-428-0770. Right nearby, there's a place where you can enjoy a classic sporting event, where a fraction of a second separates winners from losers, where there's good times and good food, too, because this isn't just a stadium. It's Yonkers Raceway. Sports Channel sizzles in July. The Mets muck it out with Barry Bonds, Giants, Expansion, Marlins, Searching Dodgers, Cardinals, and more. Last season's great moments from the Islanders, Nets, and Devils are showcased on the second look. Top-ranked women players clash in the Fat Mark Tennis Classic. At the plate, suits up Super Baseball Talk. Saturdays, live racing from Yonkers on Summer Racing 93. And follow the thoroughbreds north to beautiful Saratoga. It's all coming your way in July on Sports Channel. Joining me at this time in front of the Bates Motel here at Universal Studios, Florida, the nasty organization, Twisted Sister, the IWF World Television Champion, the Nuclear Assassin, and of course, the director, Nasty Ronnie. Nasty, your man, the Nuclear Assassin, has a big challenge awaiting in the Incredible Four. That's right, it's a big challenge, people. And listen up to what I've got to say. When you're holding the gold, it's always a big challenge. When you're the champion, if you will, you're always having a big challenge because people want what we have because we're holding the gold and they're going to have to come take it, Thor. And tonight in WrestleSlam, what are you going to do, Thor? you got to take the belt. You've got to pin the man. Tell him, big man. <laughs> Thor, bring your stinking hammer. It's not going to affect the nuclear assassin. When I get done with you, I am going to rip off your head. And if you don't like it, hey, I don't even care. You want this belt? Uh-uh. I get paid too well to keep it around my waist. And there you see the incredible Thor. A 
challenger tonight who could go home a champion. And this is why this is WrestleSlam, battle for the belts. One of three title matches on this evening's card. The incredible Thor going after. A very big man indeed for the world television title. Now back up once again to our ring announcer, Dino Puglia. Escape 
as Nasty Ronnie offers some solace over here on the ring apron. As you fans know, Nasty Ronnie never shy about getting involved in any of the action. You saw at the top of the show, fire thrown from the hands of Nasty Ronnie. He will stop at nothing to garner the gold. Oh, and the assassin sort of lulled Florida to sleep there. Drives the big boot to the midsection. And now we see Thor tossed out to the floor. And as we talk, boy, the proof is in the beating right there. Oh, Twisted Sister with a slap. Ronnie really letting Thor have it on the floor. And look what you found, Nuclear Assassin. A weakened and beaten Thor right back at you inside the ring. Follows him in with a big knee to the midsection. Irish whip across. Charges in, crossbody into the corner. That 320 pound frame. Wow, big close line. Thor's in some trouble. Champion could be looking to end this one early. And now Thor being pulled by the hair. Boy, when the nuclear assassin gains an advantage, he stays on top of you. He doesn't even let you breathe out there. Head first and a buckle goes Thor. Big sledges to the back. All right now, Rick Garcia, get in there and let's break this up. Come on now. Don't envy Rick Garcia. Oh, what a big chop from the assassin, making a pair. But look at the eyes on Thor. Snap mares him down. We'll see if the nuclear assassin could come out on top, retaining the world television title. This could be it. Big side slam. The assassin ought to be in there covering him. One whale of a contest this has definitely been since the opening bell. And now Nasty Ronnie once again in there, CL. You know, you know, KK, I'm getting sick, of, sick and tired of Nasty Ronnie. I've about had my fill of Nasty organization, and his twisted sister, and, and, and the rest of these demented fools. And now look, they got Cliff Anderson in the organization. What is going on? Incredible Thor, I mean, he's, he's wrestling. Three guys, in other words. I mean, you know, what, what kind of, uh, what is that? There's never any protection. The assassin with his feet on the ropes thought he had him. You see some kind of evil deal has been struck down between Anderson and Nasty Ronnie. There's a big surprise. Cliff Anderson working for, uh, working on the side for some money. Well, you know, the bottom line is making money, but there's certain guys you want to work for, and there's certain guys you don't want to work for. You Not know, a lot of job security with the Nasty organization. No, that certainly isn't. You know, the Nasty Rat is an icon in professional wrestling, but you know, the, the incredible Thor and Lance Von Erich and some of these other people in the IWF need to step up a little bit and take control because the Nasty Ronnie's getting out of hand. He's looking into other areas as well within the International Wrestling Federation. Of course, the World Tag Team titles booming on the horizon. The Nasty Organization putting teams together to go after, after Odessa Slim and Chubby MC. And you see his cornerstone now, the World Television Champion, the Big Nuke. And Ooh. another blast of a shoulder block from Thor. That Thor is a very powerful dude, man. A big raw boat, 280 pounder, bench pressing over 600 pounds. Drive 320 right through the mat. I've never seen anybody power slam the nuclear assassin. And this is for the gold, baby. And Thor is looking for that gold. Thor now, looking good. Follows into the corner, big elbow. We could be looking at hammer time. He smells it, CL. 
Yes, he smells the gold. Now you need to finish him off, Thor. You got him. You got him. You got the belt in your hand, baby. Despite it. Here comes Thor. Can he put the hammer down? We got to see a new champion. Wait a second. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, he was right on the doorstep. And the nasty organization has denied him. Oh. I'm getting sick of this stuff. They are really laying the pipe right now to the, the incredible floor, CL. That's right, Lou. Denied, but it's only intensified. And don't you ever forget that. The nasty organization showing they will stoop as low as they can go. I tell you what, man. Anything they can do to retain the titles, we will be back with more of Wrestle Slam right after this. It's a law of nature. You bring a kid to a day's end, the first thing they do is find the pool. My kids were the same way. Vacations were a big treat. The folks at Days Inn understand. That's why kids 12 and under stay scot-free, so parents can enjoy a comfortable stay with the family without getting soaked when they check out. At over 1,300 Days Inn worldwide, you'll find the best value under the sun. And I'm leaving here a better man. Cliff Black. Mama, he's crazy. The Judds. Timber, I'm falling in love. Patty Loveless. Where's the home? Country Hits, new from Time Life Music. Today's hot new superstars and the legends you love, all together in one great collection. Start with the biggest hits of the late 80s together for the first time in this special TV offer. 22 songs you really love for just $9.99. After you've purchased the late 80s, you'll be able to preview other great country hits albums. Keep only the ones you want. So call now to get the biggest hits of the late 80s for only $9.99. Here's how to order. To order country hits of the late 80s, use your credit card and call 1-800-648-1700 or send $9.99 for one cassette or one compact disc plus $3 shipping and handling to Country Hits, Department 110, Box 1322, Buffalo, New York. Folks my age always get special rates at Days Inn. And by joining the September Days Club, they save even more on rooms. But don't expect to find these folks in their rooms. You'll find the Rosses with a beautiful pool and the Greenbergs enjoying the restaurant with friends, and the Cooks and Rizzos walking barefoot on the beach. Would you believe they just met today? At over 1,300 days in worldwide, you'll find the best value under the sun. Football fans, here it comes. Horizon, he's there, does he have it? Touchdown! Sports Illustrated gets you ready for the excitement of NFL football in this amazing new video, Inside Football 93, an action-packed preview of the 93 season. It's free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. The best way to get inside the action for over 24 million readers every week. Sports Illustrated's video preview will show you the best of last year. Plus, you'll get Sports Illustrated's insight with predictions on who will be this season's champions. Who's your pick? What will it take to win? I see Barry Sanders as being able to lead them to another championship. The guy is the best coach to come into the NFL probably since I've been alive. Let's rush! Call this toll-free number now and get an exclusive preview of the 93 NFL season free from Sports Illustrated. Let's go! Plus, you'll get a second video free with your paid subscription. Sports Illustrated will give you the NFL video yearbook of your favorite team. Pick any of the 2018 videos. It's your choice, and it's a free choice from Sports Illustrated. Real wild, that a bit. Real wild. Your team video will take you through the 92 season, up and down the field, from the sidelines to the locker room. You'll even get a preview of what's new for 93. 
Get two free videos and incredible football coverage with 54 issues of Sports Illustrated, including the two big football previews. For only $1.39 an issue, save over 52% off the cover price. Call now to subscribe or renew and get two free videos, Inside Football 93, and the NFL team video of your choice. For quicker delivery, use your credit card. Sports Illustrated's powerful writing and photography gets you into the action and excitement of football like no one else. Week after week, you'll not only feel like you've been at the game, you'll feel like you've been in the game. Nobody's into sports like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Where the hype ends, the real story of sports begins. I took the growth hormone. It may cost me my life. Now Time Life Video brings you blood, sweat, and glory. A heart-pumping look inside the minds of the athletes who live and die to win. Your first video, for the thrill of it, takes you on a bone-rattling run down skiing's most dangerous downhill course. And into thin air with those who live to cheat death one last time. Other videos give you an insider's look at sport's greatest moments. And show you the fine line that separates competition from all-out warfare. Call this toll-free number now to order for the thrill of it for just $9.99. Other videos will arrive at the regular price, but there's no commitment to buy. I am the greatest. Call now. To order Blood, Sweat, and Glory, call 1-800-544-4900 or send $9.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to Blood, Sweat, and Glory, Grand Central Station, P.O. Box 5294, Department B-528, New York, New York. Property owners, if you want to clear overgrown areas, you could struggle with a shaky sickle bar mower like this or with a handheld brush cutter like this. Or instead, you could cut tall grass and weeds, brambles, sumac, even hardwood saplings up to one inch thick with the amazing DR Field and Brush Mower. The Field and Brush Mower chops most everything it cuts. There's no tangled brush to trip over or to pick up. And those big self-propelled wheels roll right through ditches, over bumps, and logs with ease. The DR is not for your lawn, but what a job it does with meadows, roadsides, fence lines, walking paths, and woodlots. You can clear and maintain them all with the DR, every few weeks, once a season, whenever you want. A big color catalog is just $2. Call toll-free 1-800-423-1200. That's 1-800-423-1200 for your big color catalog all about the amazing DR Field and Brush Mower. Wrestling fans, here we are at beautiful Universal Studios, Florida, in front of the globe. This is Dino Puglia along with Lance Von Erich, the new IWF Heavyweight Champion, and along with every children's favorite, Popeye. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here with the both of you. You know, first of all, it's great to be here at Universal Studios, and me being the IWF World Heavyweight Champion, Popeye, you and I have a lot in common. We, take, we eat the same kind of food, we take the same kind of vitamins, spinach, of course, good for you, no drugs, and we train hard, don't we? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, congratulations, Lance Von Eric. Oh, do you know? Is that your belt, huh? Oh, you don't mind if I wear it, do you? I want to use it. Well, wait a minute, gentlemen. We only have one world heavyweight champion, and that's Lance Von Eric. Now, right. Popeye. Well, let's not have any jealousy erupt here. Oh, you yeah, as you know, wrestling fans, this is indeed the wrestling capital of the world right here in Universal Studios, the home of the International Wrestling Federation. Lance, a lot of things happening right now. Popeye, I'm sure you're aware of all the battles and confrontations taking place, and you have your hands full right now with a diabolical Nasty Ronnie. Yeah, Nasty Ronnie and the Possessor. Next match, we're going to see who, what happens here. We got a big match coming up, and let me tell you, I'm going to put my belt on the line. Take it if you can, but I doubt that you're going to even have a close shot at it. Just like you wrestling with uh, your buddy Brutus, right? He got you. Yeah, same story. No huh? That's it. Uh, Down in the ring, one, two, three. Uh, let him try to take you. Let him try it. I'll That's be it. right next to you, fighting all the way. You got skin. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lance Von Erich, along with Popeye, here at Universal Studios, Florida. Like I said, a lot of things happening. We've got a big crowd here watching us today. We're coming at you with more exciting action momentarily. Stay tuned. Wendy Summers here for the IWF, and I'm standing next to the Memphis High Flyers, Sweet Sammy and Luscious Larry, going for the IWF Tag Team Championship. 
Well, uh, Wendy, we're real excited. We've come all the way from Memphis. Take care of one, one thing only, and that's to win the IWF titles. Tell them about it, Larry. Chubby MC and Odessa Slim, I feel sorry for you guys. We came to stay, not to play. We're gonna put it on you like you ain't never had before. Polish those belts up good, because we're gonna take them from you guys. You can bet on that. Wrestling fans joining me at this time, direct from Universal Studios, Florida, the IWF World Tag Team Champions, Odessa Slam and Chubby MC. Gentlemen, the Memphis High Flyers were out here talking about buffet tables and overweight people. They were re referring to myself and you. Hey, come on, that's disgusting. The bottom line is, people, it doesn't matter, fat and happy, black, white, Spanish, it doesn't matter, as long as the people stand together. We are gonna conquer. Memphis Chicks, High Flyers, grounded. Do anything that you will. Me and Chubby are gonna take care of business, babies. Tell them about it. Oh, Chubby MC, we got the High Flyers coming in. That's all right. We got a couple low flyers. We're gonna ground these guys. With the people behind us, we can't lose. Hey, they didn't give us these titles, baby. We want them, fair and square. Now we got the people behind us, and woo, clear sailing, baby. And the people behind us, and Lars B. Chavis, and Wild. We gonna take care of business, baby. It's scheduled for one call, and it's for the IW World Tag Team Titles. Introducing first, from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at a total combined weight of 562 pounds, the Memphis High Flyers. That's it. You know what I'm going to do? KK, in between here, I'm going to bring in my protege himself, Roy Lee Welch, and I'm going to turn it over and let him talk to you for a little while. Thank you very much, CL. What a pleasure and what a privilege it is to have a true legend in the world of professional wrestling. Roy Lee Welch, welcome, sir, to WrestleSlam Battle for the Belt. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's a real honor to give the invitation to come down. Exciting nights of professional wrestling so far that I've ever seen, and I'm real excited to see this tag team. I've seen them before, and what a tag team they are. I've never seen such a team that would enjoy themselves as much as these two guys do. They're great wrestlers and a great team. They certainly are. You see, Sweet Sammy and Luscious Larry, the Memphis High Flyers, awfully proud of themselves, too, uh, Roy Lee. Well, I don't know a lot about these gentlemen, but... Uh, I'm anxious to see how they do in competition. Well, they are going to have their hands full with the new World Tag Team Champions themselves. And for the introduction of the new champs, let's go up again, once again, to our ring announcer, Dino Puglia. And her opponents weighing in at a total combined weight of 700 pounds. Introducing first from the Big Apple in New York City, Chubby MC and his tag team partner from Odessa, Texas, Odessa Slim, the IWF World Tag Team Champions. A big contrast in styles. A man from the trails of West Texas teaming with the uh, music sensei. Where are the champions at, Roy Lee? Look here. They're hey! Coming. Here they're coming out of the stands. They surprise you every time. Chubby MC, partying with his people in the crowd. They Odessa love. Slim doing the same. They love him, don't they? You don't see too many cowboys with uh, that much rhythm. <laughs> I think Chubby's done that too. Got him rhythmized, I guess you'd say. Right, yes, sir. And you know, these two were paired together, sort of an open contract uh, situation a few months ago. These two men are good friends.
the best tag team that I've ever seen. Now the Memphis High Flyers will definitely have their hands full, giving up a lot of size. The champions weighing in at a combined 700 pounds, one of the biggest tag teams in the world. High Flyers coming in right around that, uh, that 475 mark. And the Memphis High Flyers are not performing before the home folks here tonight at South Stage 23. This is a chubby and Odessa crowd. You can sure tell that. Now, Roy Lee, you were a singles competitor for so many years in the sport. You, uh, of course, real royalty, the king of wrestling for many years. As a tag teamer, though, you also had great success. What is it that carries Odessa and Chubby to the next level, to the titles, and then maintaining that title goal? Well, you know, the way, uh, I guess when I first started, one of, the, one of the first honors that I have was when my brother and myself rated Within one year of wrestling, we are raiding the top ten in the nation. They are and going to have to watch out for this uh -oh. team, though. Look at this. Reversal. Two backdrops. Look uh -oh. out, folks. Look at how high he put him. Flying high. There Lair goes Sweet Sammy over the ropes. Larry's going to taste a power slam. They're getting the lesson the hard way. They sure are. But after that one year where you achieved the rating success, what was it that carried you to the next plateau? Well, it was being able to keep in sync with each other. Uh, a lot of teams seem to fall apart uh, after a few years, but if they can keep in sync, uh, keep working together, then they will achieve it. Well, we will have to see what the test of time will prove for the IWF World Tag Team Champions, Odessa Slim and Chubby MC. Sammy and Larry had to go outside and regroup a little bit. And we will see now if we can get uh, one man from each team inside the ring. Looks like it's going to be Odessa starting off with Sweet Sammy here from the Memphis High Flyers. You know, Odessa uses tactics that I'm very familiar with, and he tries to throw his opponent off with some of the shenanigans that he does. He enjoys himself. But by distracting his opponents, he's able to get the upper hand. An unorthodox wrestler, but all business when it comes down to a fight. That's for sure. Very effective, as you see right there. A little bit of a plant uh, into the chest, two-hand style. And Sammy goes down. The high flyers, of course, they live up to their names. They love the aerial stuff. They'll go to the top rope. They will put combinations of moves together, all aerial. That's their forte. Chubby and Odessa are going to look to keep it on the ground, keep it close to home, cut that ring in half. Well, that's right. Of course, the uh, Memphis High Flyers, very athletic, very strong. Ducks very the right agile. hand, ducks an elbow. You see that high-flying style. Now he ducks a clothesline and comes off and is caught with power. And there goes Mo right across the head. I've heard a lot about Mo. I've been, I've been uh, real anxious to see that. It is a, it's not just an elbow. It has taken on a life of its own. And it's one of the many weapons that you have to watch out when you're in the squared circle with Odessa Slim. Now Luscious Larry in. Trying to go fist city with the big man. That's a mistake. Oh, slap right across the face. Look out, Rick Garcia. Larry sent Skyward. We got a vertical press. Count it two. Great arm drag, what a beautiful move. As you can see by that move, Odessa is very versed in, uh, in wrestling. That's something that I tried to maintain throughout my career. I was constantly working out hard at that. Now the tag is made, and it's 360 inside. 360 pounds of Mo Cool, Chubby MC. Putting the pressure on Working over the left arm of Luscious Larry. Of course, now Chubby MC with a hit single in his back pocket, looking to move on musically in other directions yeah, as well. I don't think so. Look at here. That's a mistake, my friend, and you are going to pay for it. Up and down goes Luscious Larry quite easily. He's a big man. He's a strong man. He certainly is. 
competitors have found success when they can get Chubby MC off of his feet, down on the mat. But the question then becomes keeping him down once he's put down. Lock up collar and elbow at the center of the ring. Duck under and go behind. Luscious Larry with a waist lock on Chubby MC. Chubby's gonna look for an escape. I think which I know which route he's gonna go. He's gonna use that size. Pulls the hands apart. Oh! And that's putting a lot into it. That <laughs> sure is. Roy Lee, the charisma that you see inside the ring, the energy when they are with their people. It's something for all your years of the sport, it's something probably you haven't seen too often. No, I haven't. Uh, it, it's very exciting to be here and to watch these matches. I've heard an awful lot about the guys and uh, about their style. Nothing doing on the shoulder block. Again, Luscious Larry takes a big hip toss over. Sammy's in. Oh, he gets oh, one of his own. Sammy's on the floor. Larry's on Dream Street. The Memphis High, High Flyers need to regroup. And whether it's a capacity crowd here at Universal, whether it's in Orlando, Jacksonville, all over the state, all over the country, or the world, Odessa Slim and Chubby MC really know how to turn it up a notch. They sure do. They are top-notch caliber wrestlers. They can wrestle anywhere in the world, and I know that they have been. I've been out of wrestling now for three years. I have retired. Uh, I retired with a, a record that's been unsurpassed by anybody in the history of wrestling. Uh, one of the few people that uh, holds a victory over me is the man that was just sitting here, a good friend of mine now, CF. Well, the Continental Lover, of course, a long and storied career, 14 years of professional wrestling. And Royley, you've seen all the greats. You've wrestled all the greats. And obviously, the Continental Lover was one of them during his great career. Without a doubt. He was one of the best that's ever stepped into the ring. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. I would never be involved in a situation without the Continental Lover by my side because still to this day, one of the toughest men in the world. Without a doubt he is, and uh, right now I'm glad he's there. That's the mo I've been hearing about. Yeah, that's it right there. A front seat for all you folks. Nationwide primetime television, look out because you're seeing the champions in action. I think they really underestimated uh, the power of Chubby MC and Odessa. And it is speed and mobility also from Odessa. He's right at that 300 pound mark as well. And you're looking at a man that can get up and down with the speed of a junior heavyweight. Unheard of in professional wrestling. It really is. If you've got the power and the size and the, and the speed that he's got, then uh, you're almost unbeatable. That is what has carried them to the World Tag Team titles. Memphis High Flyers getting their opportunity. Now Chubby in once again. These guys have no fear. I've, I've seen them against other opponents, and uh, they back down to nobody. Well, the men that they won the titles from, of course, two of the biggest and best in the world. And now Chubby and Odessa proudly wearing the gold. Memphis High Flyers here. Maybe they can rethink their strategy. Now slap across the face. not the move he should have done. He scoots to the floor, but the big man's right after him. Now Larry, coming across. Big sledgehammer forearm to the back. And a knee lift puts Chubby MC down. They may be deciding to go with the shortcut tactics, Royley, instead of going up in the air. Well, they found out that what they had in mind uh, obviously didn't work, so they're going to have to take another tactic if they're going to try to, to capture this victory. Crowd is chanting Chubby real loud. You can feel it at home. Sweet Sammy plants the big man down with an elbow smash. And now Sammy saying it's over. Larry's going to the top rope. This could be it. Look out, rocket launcher. Oh, right down across the booth. <laughs> That was it, fans. Chubby just saved himself right there. The rocket launcher would have ended it. Instead, though, Chubby has him up. He makes the tag, drops the base, and now it's Motai. The 
Looks like they've got They've got it. All right. Oh, what a bounce. Very impressive team. Champions regain their belts. What a battle. Joining me at this time in front of the Psycho House here at Universal Studios, Florida, a very motley crew indeed. The director of the Nasty Organization, Nasty Ronnie, along with Twisted Sister. Nasty, what you did to Lance Von Erich, our new IWF world champion with the fireball. Come on, that was distasteful. Uh, that was great, but just one thing. He moved out of the way, Von Erich. You've got what is mine! I deserve the IWF Heavyweight title in the nasty organization, Von Eric. That was just a taste of what you have coming to you for taking what is rightfully mine. And the possessor is training hard. He's locked in a dark cave. Von Eric, wait till you see what's gonna happen to you this time. Von Eric, we've got a lot of things. Look at this. Look at this, Dino. And you people out there, gold bars to anybody who can put Von Eric out of professional wrestling because I deserve the gold and I'm offering gold for the belt. Ha <laughs> ha! Being a fan is tough when your team isn't the home team, especially when I try to find coverage of my favorite team in the local paper. I'm lucky there's even a box score. Well, if you're like me, you'll be happy to know there's one publication that'll make you feel right at home. The Sporting News. You'll love the Sporting News no matter what team you love, even if it is the home team. Call this number now and get four issues of the Sporting News free. You'll get opinions and strategies, transactions, trade rumors, injury reports, and the lowdown on the minors. Plus football, basketball, and hockey all year long. Call now and you'll get four free issues. If you like them, you'll get 24 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just mark the bill, cancel, and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. So call now for the Sporting News, the publication that treats every team like the home team. Call now and get four great issues of the Sporting News free. Call 1-800-544-1888 now. Drive your ball into orbit when you tee off with the Hot One. Warning, the Hot One will travel faster and farther than any other golf ball on the planet. Some say the Hot One flies too far. I've cut 10 strokes off my game with the Hot One, but nobody knows why, because the name on the ball is different. The Hot One does not conform to USGA rules. It's smaller and heavier than other balls, and its secret core and advanced simple design make it fly faster and farther. The Hot One can help you drive the green on a par four and shoot the lowest score of your life. I broke 80 with the Hot One. Call the number on your screen now and receive your trial pack of three Hot Ones for only $9.95. Plus, you'll also get free a $10 Pocket Pro, a proven guide for on-the-course help. If the Hot One doesn't out-hit your current ball, send them back for a guaranteed refund, but keep the $10 Pocket Pro as your free gift. Put the heat on the competition. Order the Hot One now. Discover the defensive training secrets of America's finest baseball school in an exciting new videotape. This is the professional instructional video that gets results. See how this group of youngsters added an amazing six miles per hour to their arm strength while vastly improving their running speed and defensive skills in just a few weeks of work. Baseball World's revolutionary new video features professional scout and instructor Tommy Mansky and the same defensive drills used by Baseball World's back-to-back 1990-91 AAU National Championship teams. Lou Pavlovich Jr., editor of Collegiate Baseball Magazine, calls it a masterpiece, the best offensive drill video ever produced. San Diego Padres Major League Superstar Fred McGriff agrees. I'm so impressed with the instructional videos by Coach Amansky that I've given them my full endorsement. When you watch them, you'll know why. Baseball World's defensive drill video makes a great gift and benefits players of all ages and ability levels and improves coaches' practice organization. To order your copy for only $29.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 1-800-854-1700. Call now and we'll ship today. Play and hoop it up, the NBA's official 3 of 3 basketball tournament presented by Sports Channel, Newsday, and New York Newsday. To play, call now. There's a tournament near you, Long Island, Manhattan, and New Jersey. Each New York player gets a free T-shirt, free Nick and Islander tickets. Separate youth, teenage, and adult divisions, you play against teams your own age. Call now or get an entry form at Newsday, New York Newsday, at Foot Locker stores or Wallbox. Hoop it up, brought to you by WBLI, Coors Extra Gold Draft, WDRE, and Sports Channel. When the weather heats up, there's only one place to be.
Sports Channel, the place for cool summer action. First, weighing in at 265 pounds, and Helling from Hell's Kitchen, accompanied to the ring by the director of the Nasty Organization, Nasty Rudy. He is the challenger, the diabolical, the censor. This is the night, this is the match. The this is what it's all about, KK. The IWF World Heavyweight Championship, man. This is the most coveted treasure in the world of professional wrestling. And look at the diabolical one himself. The sickness that rules through his body. The possessor. He's a face that only his mother could love, KK. Then he got that twisted redhead there. And that skirt, man. She looked like she walked out of Victoria's Secret. There's another nasty rat there. You know, something's got to be done about nasty rat. And I, I keep reiterating myself, you know. And, you know, I didn't get to hear the commentary with, with you and, and Roy Lee. But we're sick of it. And I want to hear Dino Puyo introduce the world heavyweight champion, baby. Weighing in at 275 pounds from Denton, Texas. The IWF World Heavyweight Champion, Lex Von Erich! Very proud champion indeed! Lance Von Erich! Man, he reminds me of Fabio off those love novels, all them women being reading and stuff, you know? And Fabio better get his resume together. The world of literature gets a hold of Lance Von Erich, he's gonna be out of the job. Tell you what, man. He's a true world champion, baby. The people love him. It don't get any better than this, baby. The IWF, action personified. It's just like all my friends in Indy Featherlight. You know, Featherlight makes the greatest trailers in the world with all my buddies at NASCAR, H.J. Foyt, Richard Petty, and all my buddies. I want to say hello to them up in Indianapolis. We coming to see you soon, baby. And this bout is for it all, folks. Right here on WrestleSlam, it's Lance Von Erich defending the World Heavyweight Championship belt against the Possessor. And you see on the right side, or the left side rather, of the Possessor's face, the remnants of that fire-throwing incident from Nasty Ronnie. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you got to see that early in the hour when, when KK and myself were describing the action. And once you try to, to, to cream and cripple and lame an individual, Things are going to get rough and tough, man. And Lance Vi and Eric, he's from a world-famous family, just like Roy Lee Welch himself. He's, from a, he's a third-generation wrestler. But I tell you what, Lance Vi and Eric represents the IWF in a great way, man. He's a true champion, and he went through a lot of people to get to where he is today. He, he is the champ. Did. He went through absolute hell, fans, to get that world heavyweight title. And it hasn't gotten any better since he's been the champion. He's had to face the likes of the Possessor. And they're going round and round here on the ropes, starting things off off the collar and elbow. I tell you what, man. Ladies and gentlemen at home, you just stuck yourself in and get a little bit closer to the TV, because this thing is going to get right. Last fine air is going to kick a little booty. He's very quickly going after that injured burn area on the face of the Possessor. Should have burned his whole face, you old ugly fool. He didn't ask whether he got original recipe or extra crispy. Yeah, he reminds you of Jack Nicholson in The Shining, doesn't he? Here's Johnny. Two lock up, collar and elbow. Side headlock from Lance Von Erich. Quickly reversing into a hammerlock. Possessor looking for an escape. He finds one into a hammerlock of his own. Now you see the agility and the quickness and strength of Lance Von Erich. Nobody home for the elbow smash, though. Into an arm drag. Making a pair. Oh, the champion's looking great. Boy, you see how crisp and clean and sneak snaps him arm drags off, man. That's what she's supposed to do. That's why he's a world heavyweight champion. He's, he's personified. He's like a pilot two Rolls Royce engine. Driving the knee into the bicep tricep area of the left arm of the possessor. the women just absolutely fell on their rear ends when uh, Lance Von Erich came out. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, they love him. 
I tell you, Lance Bryan Eric's loved all around the world. And he represents the International Wrestling Federation from my beautiful home, Soundstage 23, right here at Universal Studios, Florida. You know, there's sponsorship galore for the IWF. From Motorola to Days In, from Indie Featherlight, it just goes on and on in Universal Studios that we love so dearly. Nobody home! And an arm drag puts the possessor back down. Possessor looking to get out, looking to escape. Referee Rick Garcia asking for a break. Possessor now rolling out. He's going to get some solace, some comfort maybe from uh, the nasty organization. Nasty Ronnie and that twisted sister down here at ringside. There you see her. Well, he got them 24-inch guns slapped around them little old buggy whip arms of his. He didn't know what to do. You can't rely on beating Lance Von Eric, matching him power for power. You can't be quicker than him because he is one of the fastest men in the sport. You can't out-wrestle him because he is technically very sound. So it's going to have to be the shortcut route little baby distraction with the referee getting nasty Ronnie and the twisted sister involved that may carry the possessor to victory. Big shoulder block from the possessor. Puts the champion down. Nice leapfrog. There's that agility we talked about. Once again with the leapfrog. Oh, possessor taking over. Big hip toss. Another arm drag. Whoa, action personified KK. This is the, for the gold, baby. You gotta really strap yourself in and tie it up because, hey, anybody can slip on a banana peel and all of a sudden the gold could change, man. You never know. There is so much involved as far as the nasty organization is concerned. A lot of money spent, a lot of time spent. Ronnie wants a return on his investment. He will settle for nothing less than champions now. You see the possessor firing the big right hands to the head of Lance Von Erich. At CLU and I have spoken, the nasty organization will stop at nothing. Where do we draw the line? Where is the line finally drawn? Where does someone finally get involved? Well, I have no earthly idea, but, but somebody needs to step up to the forefront and, and, and really kind of slap that nasty rat upside the head with, you know, from the incredible Thor to Lance Von Erich and, and Lightning Lou Perez. We got some guys in here that can really take take charge and they need to take charge they're dealing with a violent guy so you got to be violent i keep telling you that kk the nasty ronnie is a violent individual and only thing you can do is fight violence with violence look the way he is he's a snake in the grass man he's just waiting to snap and bite he's worse than a rattlesnake very deadly very dangerous that's the nasty one nasty ronnie and now you see the possessor has gained the advantage now and he's planting those big motorcycle boots to the back of the head of Lance Von Erich. The champion's in some trouble. Fires a right hand, doesn't slow the possessor down. Well, you know, you can't take anything away from that possessor. He's a, he's a mighty tough dude, KK. A brawler in the classic sense of the word. No fear. Distrust and hatred for everyone. I mean, man, when you, you see guys coming from the Psycho House and Bates Motel and all these places, you know they're sick and devious. And people know he's offered the gold to put Lance Von Eric out of professional wrestling, just like he did some other people that have been well known in this industry. Such, such he's trip. got him over. Can he pull him over? Yes, he can. Can he hook him down? Just a two count. Well, he was close, though, KK. Just a hair away from being, from regaining that world heavyweight title. Face first to the buckle goes the champion, Von Eric. Possessor now, he stayed on top of his man. He stayed on top of the champion ever since he's gained the advantage. Hasn't let him breathe for a second. Well, if he intends to take the title from Lance Von Eric, that's what you got to do. This guy's like a Greek god, man, and he, he's got... He's got the moves. Oh, look out, Possessor, and Von Erich go flying to the floor. Oh, my goodness. Such a dangerous move. That's one of the Possessor's personal favorites. And Von Erich face first to the post. You see Nasty Ronnie and Twisted Sister lurking in the background. 
Von Air oh, possesses shoulder first to the iron. Already on that injured arm. Now going toe to toe on the floor. Referee Rick Garcia laying the count on him. I'll tell you what, they got the sound stage 23, thumping and bumping, baby. It's get down for your time. At last, Von Erich's laying in right hands. He dropped it like a bad habit. Possessor down on his back. Garcia still putting the count on him. Oh! Possessor goes head first to the iron. Now the possessor rolled back in. Ducks the right hand. Big atomic drop. Oh, and a close line. Well, Garcia. He could have him. Not yet, he says. Now fires the possessor across. Catches him. Up and down with a power slam. This could be at one, two. Oh, he's got a foot on the ropes. See, that's that old slimy, greasy, snaky possessor. You know, that's really good, good wrestling because he had, he would have been pinned right then for the one, two, three. Good ring presence in spite of the beating that he is taking. As if the burn to the side of his face wasn't enough. Now by, oh, Chant charges face first into the boot. What a battle this has been. Lance Von Erd, the IWF World Heavyweight Champion, is in some trouble. His challenger, the possessor, also beaten and battered in this one. He's going up top, a little slow though. Yeah, a little too slow, KK. Showing the effects of the match. Von Eric is gonna make him pay for it. Wow! Drop kicking over eight feet in the air. And now. He's going for the superplex, KK. Fans, hold on to your hats. Look at this. Wow! Almost, almost a modified DDT. What is it? One and two and three. You count as saw. Wait a second. The nuclear assassin is in. Hey, KK, I had enough of this. Oh, come on. Wait a second. Boy Lee, where's CO going? Does that need to be going out there? Come on, we need to get some. Whoa! Did you see that right hand from the lover? Boy Lee. Somebody's got to get some help. Whoa! Oh, the lover's really cleaning house. Roy Lee Welch is in. Oh, yeah. Roy Lee and CL. Let's fire and got a possessor. Connor Lover's been... He's been run face first to the table. Oh, it's a brawl on the floor. The assassins now face first. Oh, the lover's been busted open. Roy Lee Welch is wearing out Nasty Ryan. Oh, my God. That table is about headed. The kind of lover wearing out that table. On the nuclear assassin. Roy Lee Welch pummeling Nasty Ronnie. You see the lover busted open. Really let the big nuker have it. Von Eric and the possessor going toe to toe. Sound stage 23 is turned out of zero. I never thought I would see this. The Continental Lover and Roy Lee Webb saw all they could take. Oh, and House has been clear, fans. Tired of lifeless hair and dry, itchy scalp? Would you like your hair to be thicker and fuller? Well, you can with Gloria Cabrera Complete Keratin Treatment. In a few short months, Cabrera Keratin Formula can give your thinning, limp hair a thick, attractive look that will get you those special admiring glances you always wanted. Gloria Cabrera Complete Keratin System is a three-step process you'll love to use. Step one. Our mild keratin shampoo cleans and protects your hair. Step two, the keratin lotion builds healthier hair and scalp. 
And step three, the special keratin cream promotes thicker hair and prevents hair loss too. Order the entire Cabrera Keratin system now for only $64.95. Gloria Cabrera is a name you can trust. Call 1-800-543-5060, operator 384, now. Daryl Dawkins used to name his backboard shattering dunks. The NBA Jam Session book has it. When you say it... Couple of thunder flying. I lying. Keep shaking. Glass breaking. I'm roasting. Well, I'm toasting. Wham, bam, glass break up. I am dead. <laughs> you get over 200 color photos of the greatest backboard shattering dunks. And the complete history of slam jamming from Dr. J to Michael Jordan. This book is awesome, but the pictures are so bright. Okay, how about we throw in an NBA Jam Session regulation-sized Spalding basketball? Yeah, please get in the wall. <laughs> Thank you. Plus, for a few who still haven't got it, a 30-minute video of Earth's Shake and Slam Dunks got to today's hottest music. I get to keep this? All book, ball, and video for an unbeatable $29.95. Chocolate thunder flying, I ain't lying, team shaking, glass breaking, rock with the bun toasting, wham bam, glass breaking, I am dead! Call now, 1-800-648-4700, 1-800-648-4700. Sports Channel, Sizzles in July. The Mets, what can out with Barry Bonds, Giants, Expansion, Marlins, Searching Dodgers, Cardinals, and more. Last season's great moments from the Islanders, Nets, and Devils are showcased on the second look. top rank women players clash in the Pat Park Tennis Classic. At the plate, sets up Super Baseball Talk. Saturdays, live racing from Yonkers on Summer Racing 93. And follow the thoroughbreds north to beautiful Saratoga. It's all coming your way in July on Sports Channel. Friday, the Mets begin a three-game series with Will Clark and the Red Hot Francisco Giants. Live at 7.30 on Sports Channel, Friday. All right, order has been restored somewhat. The Continental ever said something had to be done about the nasty organization. My friend, you took words and matters into your own hand. Let me tell you something, nasty Road. You stinking piece of trash. I want to tell you. I'm a Tadana lover, I'm a rich woman's lover, and I'm a poker on dream. You want to draw a little blood on me, pal? I walked over better men to get into a fight than you, and I bet you, I swear on my mother's eyes, that I will run you slap dab out of the IWF. Now you've been taken around with a lot of different people. But you just tickered with the wrong one. Because I'll kick your from here to San Antonio, Texas. Let me tell you, that's the organization. Nuclear assassin and your stinking slimy possessor. The war just started. You know what I want? I want a six man in a cage. There's anywhere that you can go. Six man in a cage, there's nowhere you can run. Let me tell you, try to take my belt from me by cheating and lying and throwing fire in my face. Well, let me tell you, it backfired on you. Six men in a cage, and there's nowhere you can go. So it would be right. You know what? We've been down a lot of highways to get all three of us. And I'm telling you now, it's time to kick a little butt. You better believe it, Eddie. Yeah, I'm behind you all the way. I'll take care of Nashi Ronnie. You got it?
time for WrestleSlam. Good night, everybody. on Sports Channel, Friday. From Loudon, New Hampshire, Slick 50 presents the Pat Patterson Winston Cup Special. And hi, everybody. I'm Pat Patterson. Welcome to our second Winston Cup Special coming to you from the New Hampshire International Speedway. This is a beautiful, beautiful facility which will be hosting this weekend its very first Winston Cup event. Now, it was back in 1985. We're going to show you a little bit of footage here of uh, what this place used to look like. It was actually known as uh, Briar Motorsports Park back then, and it's hard to believe that the Bear brothers, uh, uh, Bob Bear and Dick Bear, have made such a wonderful uh, facility out of what at that time was, well, just one of New England uh, local short tracks, but it is a beautiful, beautiful place, and this weekend a dream comes through true for the Bear Brothers as they'll bring Winston Cup NASCAR stock car racing to uh, the beautiful New Hampshire area. This is our uh, second of uh, two shows. Uh, we had a great one yesterday, and we talked with a number of the drivers that will be participating in uh, all the big events this weekend. Tonight, we'll uh, talk with uh, three out of the top six qualifiers for the Winston Cup event, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, get a chance to uh, really Really enjoy a great program. We'll get started with our show after you take a look at these commercials. We'll be right back to the New Hampshire International Speedway. The Pat Patterson Winston Cup Special is brought to you in part by Max Race Cards. Max Race Cards, the only place to find all of NASCAR's superstars. By Western Auto. Western Auto, the official auto parts and service store of NASCAR. And by Slick 50. Slick 50, because starting your engine is a terrible thing to do. We're behind the Slick 50 racing team all the way, but then so is most everyone else. For the car you drive, for the way you drive. Slick 50, high performance engine for me. Visit any participating Western Auto and look for this display. Buy any product from a performance team vendor like STP, Texaco, Haviland, and Whistler, and this great looking t-shirt with the Western Auto car and my signature on it can be yours for half price. For only $5. Now that's a great value. Think bad. Think t-shirt. Think Western Auto. Never thought about transmission wear? Time to shift mental gears. Use Autotrans in your automatic transmission or Mantrans if you have a manual. Two special treatments from Slick 50, the transmission wear protector. Right nearby, there's a place where you can enjoy a classic sporting event, where a fraction of a second separates winners from losers, where there's good times and good food too, because this isn't just a stadium. It's Yonkers Raceway. My daughter, she's going to college. She needs a car. So we talked. She wanted this, she wanted that, she wanted ABS brakes. She's a very bright girl. So she looked, and she found a new Subaru Impreza. Well, I can't talk to her about a car, because I'm usually the cynic. 
but this in present left me speechless. So now I say things like, aren't you glad I told you about the new Impreza? And she says, Dad, you're employing revisionist history. Like I said, she's a very bright girl. And welcome back to New Hampshire International Speedway, everybody. Again, I'm Pat Patterson. Thanks for joining us for our second Winston Cup special. We uh, want to say a special thanks to uh, the management here for letting us uh, come up and use one of their suites to uh, put this show together. Uh, this Speedway, again, is will host its very first Winston Cup race this weekend, and the people up here are absolutely bonkers waiting for the Winston Cup uh, show to start. And who will lead the first lap? Well, we'll wait and see, but certainly the guy that's got the biggest chance may be Mark Martin. He is uh, on the pole for this event. Uh, which will come off on Sunday. Second fastest, Sterling Marlin. He will actually join us a little bit later in the show to talk with us. Third fastest, Jeff Gordon, rookie sensation, who continues to uh, have a good uh, half of the season, starting with a good run down at the uh, Pepsi uh, race not uh, just a week or so ago. Ken Schrader's fourth. Terry Labonte is uh, the fifth fastest. He also will join us in a little while. Jeff Burton is sixth. Jeff will be with us on this show. Davey Allison, seventh. Eighth is Ernie Irvin. Ninth is Dale Jarrett. And tenth is Rick. Ricky Rudd. So that's your top 10 qualifiers, your first five rows for the very first Winston Cup race here at New Hampshire International Speedway. Now, not very far behind those guys is a man who is making his Winston Cup debut. Although he's no stranger to my shows or to the world of racing, uh, he has uh, uh, made many, many laps up here. And uh, as I know he's looking forward to making some good ones this weekend. Sponsored by Dentine Chewing Gum, Joe ne Nemechek joins us. And uh, 15th is not a that's not too bad for your first qualifying effort in a Winston Cup car. No, it's not. Uh, I thought we could run just a little bit better than that, but I, I waited in the corners a little bit. I wasn't sure what the car was going to do. and uh, A lot of new variables. You know, they have a, a three sets of tire rules, so so that was new, new for us. So you couldn't run a lot of laps. You know, if we would have had a bad qualifying run, we would have had to use some of the used tires right. for practice for tomorrow's qualifying. So we were gambling on what we were doing, and uh, um, I'm happy. I got a starting spot. Now, hopefully, if we can run all 300 laps, we're going to be in good shape. Well, now, it's hard for me to ask you.